Hello language learners, come stai? Stai bene? Come puoi vedere, sto imparando di nuovo l'italiano e oggi volevo parlarvi del modo più semplice per raggiungere i tuoi obiettivi linguistici. A lot of times we overcomplicate our plan or our schedules to learn our target language, which makes it a lot harder for us to actually stick to it. That is why I'm very excited to share with you today this Chrome extension that was made for language learners like you and me. The extension is called Fluent and it's perfect because it follows you throughout your day and makes learning your target language simple and easy. So how does it work? Well, like I said, this is a Chrome extension that you add to your desktop. And what it does is that it just adds quizzes onto the websites that you're reading with the vocabulary that you are learning along the way. Now, don't worry, Fluent doesn't save any of the information or any of the articles that you're reading. It just finds vocabulary for your level. So what I love is that Fluent just kind of follows you throughout your day and allows you to not really have to plan a specific time to learn a target language. Because with such busy schedules, it's so hard to kind of prioritize learning a language over other things like getting work or homework done. But Fluent allows you to do those two things together, be productive and learn your target language. It is said that you have to know 1,000 words to be able to start speaking in your target language, and that is the whole purpose of Fluent. It allows you to find vocabulary that is perfect for your level and review them on the websites that you're already using. And one of my favorite things is that I'm able to let my competitive time really shine because while you're learning the vocabulary, you're earning points and you're beating levels, which motivates you to keep going and learning new words. And now I know you're thinking, yo Gallo, let's see this extension in action. Let's go. So what Fluent does is that it highlights words on every single page that you visit and tests your knowledge on them. And what is also really cool is that if you find a word that you don't know, it will give you the translation, synonym, and pronunciation. That way next time you're able to conquer that mini test. What I also really like is that every single time that you find a word, it will get harder as you keep testing yourself. For the first time, it will be multiple choice. Then the next time, it will be multiple choice with a lot more options. And then the following time, you will have to type out the word. That way you're reinforcing your knowledge on it and you're able to kind of use that word in different ways. That way you're able to really make sure that you learn it for real. Okay, so imagine that you are reading the New York Times and you are, you know, reading the travel section as you should because that is the best section in every single magazine. So you're going through it and oh my God, look at this. Years is highlighted. What does that mean? That means that you have to quiz yourself on it. So year in Italian is anno, perfetto, perfect. We got a word. Now let's keep reading. Oh, what is this? New? Nuovo. Now, since this is the first time that I see this word, it's giving me very basic quizzes. But as I, you know, encounter this word again, it will be harder and harder, like I mentioned before. What is also great is that you don't really have to be reading an article for you to find the vocabulary. If you're simply just scrolling around through YouTube, you're able to find new words for you to learn. So for example, here we have year. Since I've already found that word, this test is going to be a lot harder, so I have to spell it out. I know. Correct. Bing, bing, bing. Boom. Congratulations. I reached my goal. So I set a goal of learning 10 words every single day, and I reached it. Now, keep in mind that you do have to have your Fluent extension on. If you have it off, of course, you're not going to be able to find the vocabulary. So I have my extension up here and I always just make sure that it's on. I am in level four and I have to just keep learning new vocabulary to get a little better score and like go up in the levels. So if I go here, oh my God, small, piccolo. So I can imagine that now most of you guys are going to want to create an account and start using this extension. So click the link that I have in my description and let's create our account together. So once you've downloaded the extension, the first thing it's going to ask you is which language do you want to learn? So you have three options. You have French, Spanish, and Italian. And if you want to have another language added, you can just vote for it and whichever one has the most votes will get added next. So I already have Italian. So let me just pretend I want to do French. Start. Okay, learn a thousand French words while you browse the web. Start my mission. And after you chose the language, it's just going to kind of give you a little overview on how this extension works and how it can help you achieve your language goals. Once you go through all of these little steps, it will ask you to sign in. And there you go, now you're ready to start using it. 
If you want, you can click this button. It will take you to a website so you can kind of just see how this extension works in action. It will ask you if you would like to have a goal of 10 words a day. You can click yes or no. And here you can see that this is just kind of how it works. As you are using your computer and going through different websites, you're going to see highlighted words and you're going to be able to start quizzing yourself and learning vocabulary in your target language. There you go, guys. And look at that, now you're able to make progress on your target language while chilling on your computer. So if you want, you can be double productive and do your homework and work while learning target language. Or you can turn rest time into productive time. You can be chilling on your couch, you know, scrolling on the article and learning vocabulary at the same time. So if you guys want to get this awesome extension, I have the link in my description box. If you use it, let me know down below in the comments what language you'll be using it for and what level you are on. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!